Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here is a tutorial on how to remove a strip screw. Uh, as you can see, there are three screws here. The very far left is perfectly fine. The screw is nothing wrong. The middle here, um, you still can save it. The screw is somewhat stripped, but it's not all the way. And the last on the right screw is totally stripped. I hope you can see clear and I'm making this video is just to do a follow-up on one of my video on how to replace a MacBook Pro LCD screen so the viewer commented below and said um, she accidentally stripped one of the screw on the LCD hinge and she needs help to remove that strip screw so I figured if this happened to you and I hope that this video would give you some sort of a, a guidance on how to remove a strip screw uh, on a laptop okay so the very far left this screw is perfectly fine and you want to always make sure you have the right screwdriver to, to do the job okay so this one is a MacBook Pro um, the screw is a Torque 8 screw so you use a torque 8 screwdriver to remove it and always put a pressure when you you want to press and turn at the same time okay so it's very easy because nothing is wrong with the screw and it just come right out now the metal screw here uh, it is somewhat stripped but it's not all the way so you still have a chance to save it now um, if you do not have the right tool and the screw is somewhat stripped by using the first tool that you use uh, what you want to do is maybe try a different screwdriver sometimes because maybe you have been using too much so that the screwdriver the thread here might have um, lose out some of the uh, uh, the metal that is why you might have stripped at the beginning so try to use a different screwdriver and again use the same size torque 8 and at this time here so this is a newer screwdriver that I got and so when you stick it in you want to give it a little spin okay so you stick it in and make sure you feel like it is gripping so as you can see I stick it in and I wiggle okay I I feel like the screw is having a good contact with the screwdriver it feels like it's eating it so when I stick it in it feels like it's locking my screwdriver now you have a, uh, a slight chance to remove it okay so make sure you stick it in and have a good grip of it okay once you have a good grip and you want to press it down and turn you don't have to turn hard slowly turn it slowly but make sure you have the pressure to push it down okay all right, so once you have that little movement and you can work your way and slowly remove the screw. Okay, so as you can see, this screw here is slightly straight, but it's not all the way. So make sure you try to use a different screwdriver. Um, the newer one would have a better metal threads here. So that might help you to uh, remove this somewhat strip screw and make sure you have a pressure to push it down and turn it slowly okay now this is the final screw and this screw is totally stripped I hope you can see it right so it's totally stripped no matter what screwdriver that I use it's not going to work okay 
some of the video I've seen in the past that they say use a rubber band uh, they suggested to use something like this so you have a rubber band on the, on the top of the screw stick it in and turn it um, I have done that before but I do not have any success using a rubber band um, it doesn't seem like you have a good contact with the screw so maybe this work on this uh, somewhat strip screw maybe okay but it won't work on a fully stri strip screw here using the rubber band okay so my method of my method of uh, removing a strip screw um, I use a drill okay so first you need to make sure that um, that this I'm not sure what you call this um, this thing here make sure that it's slightly smaller or maybe the same size of the uh, the screw here okay so this one here is exact same size so as I drill I'm not dr drilling bigger than the screw you do not want to drill anything bigger than the screw if you do that what it means is you're drilling bigger than the um, the base of the of your computer right so you're dr drilling bigger than that do not want to have anything bigger than the screw okay so get the same size or smaller and kind of drill it in okay make sure you match the screw first now also when you drill the goal is not to drill all the way through all right so this is the top of the screw the goal is not to drill all the way in the goal is to drill around it okay so the screw is what is holding is this this is the one that is holding it right so you want to drill around it a little bit until it's loose so that you can pull the screw out after okay so let's give it a try on this final screw Okay, so my goal is to drill.
Okay, I think my drill is weak, so let me go charge it and I come back. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> So as you can see, the screw is pretty thick. So it may take some time to drill. Just be patient. And my drill, the battery is weak, so, uh, which is not a good thing at the moment. And, and I'm not really a, a drill guy, you know, like having the right tools for the drill and whatnot. So I just wanted to make this video um, just to reply um, one of my viewer um, that commented the screw is stripped. So this is the reason why I'm making it. Um, yeah, again, I'm not really like an expert on on, on this, so don't judge me on that but I'll do my best to to share my knowledge this is what I'll do if the screw is stripped I will use the drill and try to drill the, uh, the screw to a point that um, it can easily be removed after okay if you guys have a better way to do it uh, you know, please share the link uh, or comment below so at least I'll know. Okay, as you can see now, the screw is moving, slightly moving. Okay. Okay, if you can look closely, pretty much. Uh, it moves slightly, so which is a good sign. So be slow at this point, and make sure you you try not to drill the base. That's not the goal. We are not making a another hole on the base. Okay, we are just trying to um, again to cut off some of the uh, uh, the screw on the top part here okay I may need to move the camera up a little bit so that my screw I mean my drill can go straight okay I think I can see the base and uh, Earlier, I felt the screw move a little bit. So at this point, if you have a, a, a prior, try to see if you can get a grip of the screw and turn it. Okay. bit more okay so I have a pry tool now my prior can grip a little bit on the screw okay 
the screw is moving. And of course, you know, I'm not being gentle. Uh, this is just a disposal uh, MacBook. And I'm just doing, you know, uh, a video on how to remove the strip screw. So I'm not being gentle, but for your case, I'm pretty sure, you know, you have a working computer and uh, you want to be very careful when you drill. Try not to drill uh, in the motherboard. You know, the motherboard is going to be right here, right? And you would have all these um, broken pieces of metal. Right, as you can see, there are tons of them here. Okay, so just be very careful. Make sure you have like safety goggle. Um, you know, put your mask on if you need to. Uh, protect your eye. And as you go, you want to get a tape. You know, maybe any tape is fine. You know, just so happen to have this blue tape. Uh, as I go, I'll just kind of tape all this. Um, metal pieces, right? I'll tape them up and just throw it away. So at least you have a good working environment and you protect your motherboard. Um, yeah. Okay, let's get back to the screw. Using a plier, kind of bit by bit. You know, twist it, press, twist it. Okay, here you go. Comes right out. All right, so we finally removed the screw. As you can see, the drill, kind of drilled them. And my base is still good. I kind of slightly get onto the base a little bit here. So yeah, so the goal is not to drill the base. As soon as I felt the screw move a little bit and I can see the base, I stop drilling. So you come back and use um, a prior to, not a, a plier, a plier to, to, uh, to continue turning and remove the screw. So I hope this video helps. Uh, if you have any strip screw on a laptop, um, you know, I feel like using the, the drill, um, is a better way to remove it but if you have other solution please comment below and let me know um, this is still a learning process for me and i hope this video helps and until next time take care